fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my roller co- no, this isn't my roller coaster tycoon, let's play, what the hell am I talking about? It's Open TTD. I've been recording too many videos. I need to stop recording videos. But you wouldn't like that, would you? Um, today we're going to look at our company, because at the end of last episode, we had 3,000 734 pounds in the red. Not good, not good at all. And whilst a good old, where is he? Where's Scrappy gone? There he is, a good old Scrappy. Whilst good old Scrappy is making a bit, as a bit of profit, I'm worried about the other two trains. I am very worried about them. Namely, train one, train two, as they are now known, as they've always been known. Uh, if we look at their information, here look. The running costs of these trains are really quite expensive, and I, to be honest, when I was when we were starting this, I, I I didn't really think too much about running costs. I just saw the fact that they uh, went 95 mile an hour, and I was like, yes, fast trains. Um, which is why uh, Scrappy isn't one of these trains. So yes, they cost a lot for us to run, and they're not making their money as much as I'd like. Look, look. Last year, next to nothing on the income. Only a couple of thousand. And I wondered why that was. And then I looked at the cargo. Look at the cargo here. We've got three carriages. And these ones, they're not even full. Not even full in the slightest. And if we look at the second train, seven passengers on it. So we're not getting a lot of passengers on our train. So what I did is I commissioned a survey. Uh, I sent it out to Tedham and uh, and Ladding Hatton as well. And uh, the results came back. And the uh, overriding opinion of our customers is that it's difficult to get to our stations. And they would like some shuttle routes. Fine. Right. Okay. Basically, um, I built the stations too far out from the towns. We're not getting good coverage. Uh, we need to get better coverage to get us going and get us back into the white. Um, now, to do that, to do that, to do that, we're going to need some money. And I don't want to really steal from these trains or delete one of these trains at this time. So it's going to have to be Scrappy. Now, don't worry, folks. I'm not going to delete Scrappy. Don't worry about that. We're just going to send him to the depot. We're going to send him to the depot. Go on. Off to the depot you go, Scrappy. And we're just going to sell his wagons. Scrappy himself will be perfectly fine. He's going to wait until he's into the depot until we can afford some more wagons. There we are. Scrappy in the depot. And we're just going to sell his carriages. There you are. That's given us £12,000 and put us eight grand into the white. Fantastic. But now we need to put that money to good use. I think we'll start off at... Gamefingfield Heights. Now I'm going to press uh, Control and X to bring up the transparency options. Then I'm going to press X to make everything transparent. And then click on the station to bring the stations back so we can see the stations. Now, uh, the shuttle service uh, is going to be a two-phase project. First things first, is we're going to put in some stations so that people can kind of come to the station, look at the train timetables get a bit of shelter if in the rain and then kind of maybe grab a bagel at the at the uh, at the coffee shop and then work their uh, walk onto the train station um, and later in phase two we're going to put some actual buses in but for now we're not going to do that we're just going to slap some stations in so let's put one right over this end of town there we are oh game still paused let's unpause the game there we go one over that end of town, that covers things quite nicely. One in the middle of town is always quite nice. And one on the outskirts over here, I think, will also be good as well. So we now have got some stop-off places where people can go get a coffee and a toasty. Oh, I like a good toasty. Ham, cheese and beans. Um, and then once they're ready, they can walk onto the station. That's done uh, at Glenfinfield Heights. Let's go over to Tedham now and do the same. So we're going to have, we've got, you can see roughly where all the buildings are because you get these concrete panels in the floor. I mean, you could probably toggle the buildings back on if you wanted to, like, like this. Um, not all of those buildings have them, but the rest of them have fences and stuff, so you can still see them. Let's have one over here. Uh, we're going to link that up to Tedham. I'm holding control to bring up the linky thing. So we've got one over there. We'll put one over here as well. 
Uh, do they overlap? No, they don't overlap. There we are. So hold control, it brings up this join station option, and there we go. And I think one down here as well. We'll put three in the town um, so people can get off. This one over here obviously is going to have, they're going to have a longer walk to the station, but never mind. Uh, and then finally, over to Ledding Hatton, where we're going to do something similar. I think we'll put one over this end of town, so we'll go one sort of here. There we go. Uh, one in the centre of town, roughly there. And one on the outskirts over here. Uh, should we get it right in the outskirts? Can we go that far out? Oh yeah, we can. Right, that's quite a lot of area covered now. Um, I mean, I, I don't know which coffee shop these places have got in them, but oh, I don't mind. So let's just bring our transparency back. There we go. And um, turn our attention to the money. Now we've got four grand in the bank. Now, um, if we zoom out, there we go, and take a look at what's going on. So over at Glenfinfield Heights, we now have a bunch of passengers waiting. You can see they're all stood in line there with their mocha choco mockers or whatever they've got. Um, a lot of choco mockers? Maybe got it. I don't know. Um, and we got, you can see Glenfinfield was the first one we did. That's got lots of passengers. Uh, Ladding, Lang, Ladding Hatton was the last one we did, and that's only just starting to build up on the passengers. Let's also check out our train. So there's train one that goes between Tedham and Laughing Hatton. There we go. And uh, where's train two gone? Over there. There's train two. So we've got uh, both of our two trains and our uh, three stations there on the screen so we can keep a close eye on that. Also, we want to probably keep a close eye on our money. Let's see what the situation is. <coughs> so ignoring construction, uh, train running costs have been slowly increasing each year. Uh, but we have been increasing the number of trains, so that's not too bad. Property maintenance, again, quite expensive, coming up to four grand now. Loan interest is actually quite bad. Probably ought to pay off the loan as, as quickly as we can when we're comfortable. Uh, but we've, we're running down on the money now. But these trains, if we look at what they're carrying, look at this. Train 2 is ram-packed full of passengers now. And train 1... Let's open that up a little bit. You can see train 1 is getting full as well. So now our trains are running with decent amount of passengers in them. They're all nice and uh, warmed up with their coffees and all that. And they've come to the station and actually want to go somewhere. We can see, if we ignore the mail for now, uh, we've got 230-odd uh, passengers wanting to go to Ladding Hatton and a load wanting to go to Tedham. Um, that is the cargo distribution. Um, can we look in the settings? Oh, yeah, something else in the settings. I noticed a comment. I forgot to turn 90-degree turns off. There we are. Turned off now, folks. All done. Um, what did I say? Cargo. Cargo. Distribution. Here we go. Now, there should be... No. I was wondering if there's, like, an overlay. I'm sure there's an overlay for the cargo distribution. I can't remember what it is. I'll have to have a look sometime. What's this? Mm. There is a button, and oh, uh, amount waiting, group by destination. Um, no idea. I thought we could find out. Oh well. So now both our trains are full of passengers. You can see our money's going up. So as our money's going up and our trains are getting fuller, we probably need to make our trains longer. So first things first, let's concentrate with train two. Here he is. Coming round to a station. Now how much is it going to cost? Now how long is he at the moment? If we look him coming into the station, I want to add a little bit more onto it. He looks like probably only needs one more carriage for now. Or do we fill it? Maybe we fill him. Maybe two carriages. A couple of passenger carriages are going to cost... 13 grand each. We're a little bit shy of that now. Uh, we're only just under 20 grand. Let's do a touch of fast forwarding. And I tell you what, whilst we're at it, let's follow train two on his journey. There we are. We need, what was it? 13 grand each. We need to be at 28 grand ish to clear us. So, oh, did he just go through Tedham? Oh, he's gone into the station, into the depot. 
Why he didn't choose to go into the depot? Ooh. Have I missed a bit of track? No, I haven't missed a bit of track. There's just a tree in the way. So, he shouldn't take the 90 degree turn. He actually used the depot to turn around. Trains should be able to turn at stations. Settings. Uh... Um, forbid trains and uh, routing. Let's just look at all the routing. Sound, interface, viewpoints, construction, news, no, company, no, accounted, vehicles, routing. Uh, disallow trains reversing at stations on. No, they should be allowed to reverse at trains at stations. That was what's wrong there. Anyway, 25 grand. Not quite enough. Hopefully by the time we've dropped off our passengers at Glenfinfield Heights. There we go. Eight grand. Into the depot, please, train number two. No, oh, he's off to Tedham train depot. Well, that's fine. That doesn't bother me too much. There we go. Okay, so at the moment the length is 3.4, and that's because this train on the front isn't a whole carriage length. It's like a bit extra. Does it tell you the length? No, I don't think it does tell you the length. Let's add a passenger carriage. And we're at 3.9. Let's add another one. We're at 4.4. So it's 0.5 per carriage. If I was to add another carriage, we would go to 4.9. Uh, that would actually be ideal. Let's see if we get enough money from our Tedham delivery. No. No, not really. Now, is it going to be accelerating too slow? Well, it's not too bad, actually. It's coping okay with the weight. Um, I am just fast-forwarding the game a little bit. If you want to know whether I'm fast-forwarding the game, you can see in the top left here this fast-forward button depresses uh, down every time I do it. Um, normally when I'm playing on my own with OpenTTD, I don't always use it, but... Do we not get any money, then? Why didn't we get any money, train number two? Uh, yeah, I don't use it too much, but when you guys are watching on the Let's Plays, you don't want to sit around and watch a train going round and round and round and round and round and round and round, and round in circles. There we go. A bit of extra money. Right, go to your depot. And the final train. Now, let's have a just quick look. How's the mail situation? No, wait. No. No. Tur get in the depot. There we go. Uh, one more carriage. There we are, 4.9. 4 is that right? Yep, there we go. Train number two is all sorted. Now let's have a look at train number one. Train number one is significantly shorter. Um, it is f one, two, three point... It's just under four. Okay, so we're going to need... I oh, know it isn't. It's... It's, it's just over three and a half. Two and a half. Really? It's just, it's it's 2.9. So we're going to need a lot of carriages to get that up to 4.9. We're going to need 2.9 uh, to 3.9, 3.9 to 4.9. We're going to need four carriages and that's going to... Was that there before? Was that grain mill there before? I don't remember that grain mill being there. That is going to make my train lines are very difficult. Oh well. Um, yeah, we're going to need four. And four times 13, if the prices stay more or less the same, is going to be something stupid. Um, I'm not very good at quick maths. I'm good at maths. I'm just not good at quick maths. So uh, 13 times 4 is 40 plus the extra lots of three, uh, 4 lots of 3. 2 lots of 3 is 6. 2 lots of 6 is 12. Add the 12 to the 40 and you're looking at about 52 grand. So we're going to need about 55 grand before we can upgrade that other train. Oh my word. Well, we're going to do it. We're going to have to do it. Uh, I want these trains running to capacity. We need the money coming in. So I'm not going to sit around here and, and we're not going to watch that tick all the way up. I will see you shortly, hopefully when these trains have made us a little bit more money. Okay then, we are now on board with train number one as it breaks down coming up to Tedden. 
And if you look at our bank balance, we've now got a moderately healthy 50, oh, I was about to say 54,000, but uh, trade number two just cashed in. We've got 64 grand in the bank. Yeah, that's much better than the beginning of the episode, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to select tray number one. I'm going to send it to his depot. Hopefully it'll go to the local depot and won't go through the station. I don't like that. There we are. It is off to its local depot. Brilliant. Go on. Get in there. And we're going to do an upgrade. So, new vehicles. Let's get ourselves some passenger carriages. Move them around a little bit so the mail van's at the end. Ooh. There we go. And on your way, train number one. On your way indeed. There we go. And hopefully now these trains will start bringing in a bit more money. If we have a look here, uh, train number two is already up to 52,000 last year. That's a lot better than previously. We are more than breaking even now. And they were pretty much just breaking even on the company money. Because we had the loan to pay for and the property maintenance. Even though both train one, two and three were in profit, they weren't in profit enough collectively to cover the property maintenance and the loan. Um, and they certainly weren't making enough profit for me to expand. Well, this is all very good news for our friend Scrappy, because that means we now are going to be able to get the money to buy his trucks back. His, his, what is he carrying? He's carrying scrap. So, a universal, universal wagons, they are quite cheap. Universal wagons, uh, so we can probably afford quite a few. Now, he's platform length 5, but he's only a small train. We probably need to upgrade him later. Let's give him... Let's see. We'll go up to that length. 3.4. Just under 4 squares. That seems about enough for that train. Otherwise, he's going to be a bit slow. Uh, we are going to have to uh, spend some money to convert them. Of course, they're universal rag wagons at the moment. We need to get them over back to... Scrap metal, wasn't it? Scrap metal ratings are we up? what is it scrap scrap metal yard yes uh refit track oh no we ran out of money uh, we just have to wait for train one or two to cash in come on which one of you is going to cash it in? it's going to be train number one i think train number one's probably going to beat train number two it's going to get into ladding hat and how much money is it going to make oh definitely train number two has gone to the depot how much is train number one going to make um, 16 grand, definitely. Okay, and refit train. There we go. Trains turn black. I have no idea why, but that's the best colour for Scrappy. Let's get him out now. What? Where's he going to? Scrapyard. Perfect. In you go. Well, um, that's Scrappy on his way. We're probably going to need a Scrappy 2 at some point soon. Uh, scrappy too, probably because we are only transport. Well, we transported 0% of the scrap metal last month, but I think we were doing about 30 40% before, so we could quite easily get another train in there. When you get things nice and efficient and you get good ratings and all that, you can usually get up to a good 70 80%. Um, we've got loads of sangbanks around here. What's this? There's a fishing harbour. Oh, that could make some money. Maybe we'll look at that next time. Oh, is there another one? What's this? Uh, that's, a, that's a port. That's different. Anyway, um, oh, we haven't even got any signals on this, so Scrap is just going to go around in random directions. Uh, what next? What next? Scrap is back to how he was. Our trains are up there. I suppose, really, we want to start preparing for the next part of this. Um, I was thinking about bringing some steel from the steel mill over to our machine workshop. It's not steel, is it? It's metal. Some metal over. However, um, I think we're probably... Because the first mod is different to normal, normally when you bring a unit of a primary resource into a factory, you usually get a, a unit out of it. That does not happen with the first mod. What you have to do is put in about four times as much stuff to get one unit of metal. So we need... Four, four tons of metal scraps to get a ton of uh, a ton of metal out of it. So really, we need more stuff coming into the steel mill before we hook it up to the machine shop. And that's what we will do next time. Next time, we will use our newfound wealth to try and find those 
places that I was going to bring in earlier. Where are they? Are they up here? Here they are. So we've got an iron ore mine that brings in iron ore. And there's another iron ore mine there. There's two of them. And we'll get them to come all the way down to this steel mill, which requires iron ore, coal, or scrap metal. If we just have a look in the local area on the map as well, just before we go, let's have a look. There we are. Industries. Where's industries? Uh, there we go. If we have a look at the industries, we're looking for iron ore, which is... An, that's an iron works. Iron ore mines. There are two up there in the hills. That's the only ones really within the local area. Coal. Where's coal? Coal mine. There's the coal mines. Uh, there's really no coal mines in the area at all. They're all really far out. Too far out, I think, for the early steam age. It just really wouldn't be financially viable to do. And scrap metal. If we go over to the S's for the scrap metal. Where's scrap metal gone? No, 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 no. Scrap yard? There we go. You can see that we've only really got one close here. There is one further out at Fruitfield. Um, where is it? Here it is. There's another one here. I might be tempted to shuttle that over. Uh, it is quite a distance, though, for it to go. However, we don't have to go over massive hills. It's mo mostly along the coast. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing next time. It's been a bit of a fix-it episode, but we needed to improve the uh, services within our passenger network so that we can fill up our trains. And now we have three very healthy trains running on our network. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, remember to give it a like. Any thoughts, ideas, or questions down in the comments section below. And I will leave you until next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.